Hey, welcome to another exciting video tutorial. My name is Andrew Kramer, and today we're going to take a look at creating a destroyed planet like this. Now, this tutorial is very similar to the blue planet tutorial. We're just going to take it in another direction. And uh, so here's our final uh, composite. Now, if we have enough time, I'd like to be able to do some more advanced compositing like this. But uh, we may not have the time, so we'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is take our Venus material and drop it into a new comp. And so this is going to be our planet texture. And what I'm going to do is choose Layer Precompose. And we'll move all the attributes and we'll call this uh, Map. And I'll choose OK. Then I'm going to Alt double click on the comp. And that brings up our actual pre comp. And then I'm going to choose Effect color correction, hue, and saturation. And we'll bring the saturation down and the darkness down because this is sort of a dead planet. And then we'll go back to our main comp. And then I'm going to go to the effects and presets and we're going to type in CC sphere. And I'm going to drag that onto our pre-comp. And now that makes our nice planet and things are looking good. Now I'm going to duplicate the map and then I'm going to go into the light setup and I'm going to change the direction and the light height and maybe the intensity and then change the transfer mode, hit F4 to screen and that way we have sort of our secondary light source and while we're at it we'll take our space background and just drop that on there and now things are looking good. Now, if I go back to our map, I also have this Venus bump map. And what we're going to use this for is a map to create our lava. So right now, this map is actually to create a bump map in a 3D program. But what we're going to do is choose Effect, Channel, Invert. And then I'm going to choose Effect, Color Correction, Curves. So I'm just going to kind of crush it down so we just see the lava area. And then I'm going to choose Effect Color Correction Tint. And we'll change the color to Tint to, to sort of an orange color. And now if we change the transfer mode here to Screen and go back to our Comp, you can see we're sort of getting what we want. The only problem is the lava doesn't pop it doesn't stand out and because lava is hot it actually self illuminates so we wouldn't see the shadow we'd actually see just bright lava so what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut this off and instead we're gonna go into the project we're gonna take the map composition right here and we're gonna choose edit duplicate and we're gonna call this lava map and we'll go and open that up and then we'll reverse these two layers. We'll turn this one on and turn this one off. Now we do need the transparency, so what we'll do is duplicate one of the layers. And then we're going to shut off the tint. So now we just have the black and white map. And we're going to set this layer, the one underneath it, to Luma Matte. And that way it uses the transparency of the luminance to uh, basically give us our background since we can't use our transfer modes in the pre-comp. Okay, so now we have a lava map composition and we also have the planet map composition. So then I'll go back into our main comp and remember one of these is for the diffuse and one is sort of the uh, highlight. Well, I'm going to duplicate this layer and put it on top. And what I'm going to do then is take my lava map and hold down Alt and drop it onto it. Okay, so now we have the lava as a separate layer and you can see the transparency is still there, but we have a problem. We're rendering the front and back and so we want to just render the outside rather than the inside and the outside because we don't want to see through it. We just want to render the top layer. And then we'll go into the shading and we're going to turn ambient all the way up. Say do 100. And that way, if we turn our layers back on, that layer sort of is brighter 
the entire time. Now at this point, I want to link all the rotation values together. So I'll hit E, bring up the CC sphere, come down, same thing, bring up the rotation for each of the effects. And what I want to do is link the Y rotation to the rotation of the top layer. So I'm going to Alt click on the stopwatch, drag the pick whip to the rotation Y, and we're going to do that for all of the layers here. Alt click and drag the pick whip. So what this does is basically links all these values to the one value on this layer. So if I rotate it, all of the layers will rotate. So as you can see, we have our nice uh, fiery looking uh, core. And uh, let's go and clean this up a little bit. So what I'll do is take this layer. I'm going to choose Effect, Stylize, Glow. And this is going to give us a nice uh, fiery glow. And so I'll just increase the radius a little bit and maybe bring the intensity down. And the other thing we can do is take the bottom map and choose Effect, Color Correction Curves, and just color correct the planet a little bit, maybe make it a little more contrasted. Now, if I go back into our lava map, I can also take our layer and give it, say, more of an orangish color. So if I bring this down a little bit, that changes the color so the lava is a little bit more intense in certain areas. So now that we've created this, I can also add a simple background glow by choosing Effect, Stylize, Glow and change the alpha, change the glow to the alpha channel and composite the original on top. And basically what this says is to base the glow on the alpha channel, which is sort of the transparency of the sphere, and then composite the original on top so that the glow comes from behind it. And then if we change the color to like orangish red and increase the radius, just a little bit. We've now created our planet. Now our highlight area, which would be this comp, call this map highlight. We want to brighten that up some, so we'll turn the light intensity up. And then we'll also go to the shading and turn the specular up. So that looks pretty nice. And now if we go to the rotation of the sphere plugin. We can set a keyframe and then move forward in time and just rotate it a little bit. And so we just have a little bit of fiery planet rotation. Now another thing we could do is create a sun. So if I took this map and duplicated it, I can move it over here and then choose, uh, let's see, reset the curves and then just uh, blow it out like really make it bright. Same thing with the red channel, just going for an orangish bright color. And we can move the light so that it is sort of straight on. And then if we take our glow, we can reset it and then increase the radius. And maybe the uh, threshold and bring the brightness down a little bit here. Let's see. It's pretty good. And I'll just scale it down here. And probably want to go into the shading and increase the ambient. And that way the glow won't be so intense. And then we could add a glow on the outside by uh, just duplicating this glow, resetting it, changing it to alpha on top, 
and then changing the color to a color similar to the edge. And then increasing the intensity and the radius. So I'll probably change this color to Okay, um, what else could we possibly do? Um, we could always do sort of the light gleam from behind the planet. Now, uh, this is more of a motion graphic thing, but you know, I just want to try to show you a few different things. Um, so what I'll do is duplicate our planet, and then there's another plugin called CC Radial Blur. And uh, actually, CC Fast Radial Blur, if we drag that out, It'll sort of create, you know, these cool light streaks. And what we want to do is choose effect. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and reset the color correction. And I just want to kind of create a really contrasted image here. Maybe get rid of the shadow by increasing the ambient light there. And we can bring the light intensity down. And so now we can see there's sort of this, uh, let's see, light stream, you know, coming from behind the planet there. Um, and maybe change the transfer mode. Anyway, just uh, just another option, another possibility for uh, creating a more unique looking glow. Um, and uh, check out the uh, check out the next tutorial. We're gonna actually blow this planet up uh, and uh, that'll be a lot of fun so what we're gonna want to do is render this out without any of the background and uh, any of the glow so just want to render it out like this with the transparency and to do that you're gonna choose composition add to render queue and in the output settings we're gonna go in here and we're gonna change the format to QuickTime and then we'll click on format option and we're going to change this to animation and the depth to millions of colors plus and what that's going to allow us to do is use the RGB plus alpha so that when we bring this in the transparency will already be a part of this file and this is pretty much uh, one of the ways I recommend uh, outputting your video as well as photo JPEG but Photo JPEG doesn't support the transparency. Anyway, uh, choose OK and then uh, render that out. And then we're going to import it back in and get started on the next project. But until then, um, hope you guys found this tutorial useful. And uh, you know, there's plenty of things uh, you can do with this, especially if you're creating a sci fi movie. Okay, well, my name's Andrew Kramer, and uh, we'll see you next time.